Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we're going to work on the shipping summary Excel file. And in this case, somebody has entered data using color coding. Very, very common and it might be quite useful, but I would recommend against it. I wouldn't store information as color coding because it's a bit harder to do math on and um, somewhat error prone. So instead, I would suggest that we use conditional formatting. But to start with, we're going to format this range as a table. And then we're going to add another column. And I can just do budget here. And as you see, when I type in something to the right of a table, it will automatically expand the table. Then I want to get the information from the color coding and into this budget column here. So I'm simply going to fill out those four. And the easiest way of doing that is filtering by color. Here we can filter by color. And these uh, represent the over budget. So then I can just fill that down. And then remove the filter. And show only the blank ones. And then fill out the under values that you want to have in the other ones the other cells and then we'll remove the filter and now we actually don't need this formatting there or the color coding instead you have it much more visible maybe in a text there which you can actually do a pivot graph on later first let's remove this uh, fill here just put it to none and then we'll instead do a conditional formatting rule here I'll set a new rule say that format only cells that contain the cell value equals to over. I want those to be in the pink shade I had before here. There we go. And there you have a color coding too. So now if I switch this to under instead, you'll see that the color coding goes away. If I control Z, change that back, then I get the color coding. So you have both the color coding, which people might like, and the extra column with the values instead. I don't want to store information in color coding. That's what I'm trying to avoid here. Now the next step I want to do is create a pivot table. And since I already formatted this as a table, I can summarize with a pivot table from under the table tools here. Summarize that with a pivot table. And now you see I can of course pull down the revenues for my values. Of course, as always, I want to format that as dollars without the decimals. We have 1.9 million there. And then I can put that as a filter and the budget. And then I can do the customer on the rows. So that means I can go ahead and filter only the values for over and under. Or I can put that on the columns instead and have the over and under values here. So of course we want to create a pivot chart also. So let's actually do that. We um, can actually remove the customers here and see how much is over budget and under budget like that. And then we can create a um, pivot chart based on that. And let's just do a pie chart based on that. And we'll see that the numbers came in. Ah, it's not so easy to see. Let's go into this design chart here and put a, an explanation on that. But there we go, over and under 68 and 32 percent. So that might be interesting in some scenarios. Thank you for watching this demonstration.